Over the past 12 months, our communities have experienced drought, fire and floods. And now in the first year of a new term of council, we have the added challenge of navigating our way through the coronavirus pandemic. During this time, it's crucial we all unite to get through these challenges. And I believe that by investing in improving and maintaining our road network is the best way to do this. In this budget, we're focused on strengthening our regional areas. In this financial year, we will complete work on the Tummerville Road Bridge Renewal Project and begin work on the next section of upgrading and widening the Bowenville Moola Road and complete works on the John Derry and St Ruth Road. Agriculture is the backbone of our region and these important projects are vital to the economic growth of our country areas and will not only enhance productivity for our rural residents but will improve the overall safety in these areas. As part of the revitalisation of Toowoomba's CBD, we will soon begin work on the urban renewal project for the Russell Street precinct. This is an important component of the CBD with strong heritage and cultural significance. Council will also help improve safety at our schools with a new off-street parking facility for Glenvale Primary School and a signalisation upgrade to the South and Burton intersection for students and commuters at the Harristown Primary and High Schools. As part of our asset renewal, Council has committed more than $30 million to rehabilitating and resealing our sealed road network for gravel resheeting and for renewing asphalt surfaces across the Toowoomba region. While this is a difficult period for our residents, I would like to reassure our community that we're right behind you. Remember, when you leave the house, every journey starts and ends on a local road and we want to make sure that all our residents in our region have reasonable level of access to our road network regardless of where you live. The Toowoomba region continues to develop and grow and it's important we facilitate this growth in the right manner. As Toowoomba continues its transition from a country town to a city, we need to ensure our parking options continue to meet the current and future need of our motorists. In line with the Toowoomba City Centre parking strategy, we will invest $300,000 to begin the development phase for new smart parking technology. In addition to this, we will continue our program of upgrading assets with a renewal of converting street lighting to LED technology replacing single head parking meters and upgrading existing machines to pay and display machines. Providing adequate public transport remains high on our radar, with Council allocating $200,000 for its program of renewing existing bus stops, as well as $300,000 to ensure the bus stop meets disability compliance. Ensuring residents are able to move throughout the region is an ongoing focus, and as such, $1.35 million will be spent on footpath renewals. Whilst the region continues to experience the effects of severe drought, Council still is conscious of the need to progress its stormwater renewal program and has committed $500,000 to further work. While major infrastructure projects are critical for our region, I'm pleased to see a concerted effort this year will be spent upgrading our networks in our regional areas. In this budget, we've carefully managed the needs of all the areas throughout Toowoomba region as we strive to make our region a better place for all our residents.